Unit 1 Matter and its Construction Lesson 2 Matter Construction What is meant by molecule? It is the smallest part of matter which can exist freely and it has the properties of matter. These are the image of molecules and this image to the left is a real image for molecule which is magnified 10 milliard times so you can imagine what is the size of molecule atom what's meant by atom atom it is the smallest part of molecule which can't exist freely and it has the properties of molecule as you can see this one is called water molecule it consists of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms these are two hydrogen atoms when these two hydrogen atoms combine together they form hydrogen molecule so each hydrogen molecule consists of two hydrogen atoms when these two hydrogen atoms combine with another oxygen atom they will form water molecule so each water molecule is formed from two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom what are the properties of molecules molecule has three properties the first one molecules of matter are in a continuous motion the second one is there are intermolecular spaces among or between the molecules of matter the third one is there are intermolecular forces among the molecules of matter let's do some experiments to prove that molecules of matter are in a continuous motion if we put a small amount of potassium permanganate which has violet color in a container that contains water we will see that its color will spread all over the water until the color of water will change into violet this is done because water molecules are in a continuous motion or this is done because molecules of matter are in a continuous motion the same is done if we added two or three drops of ink in hot and cold water the only difference between the two cases is that ink will spread faster in case of hot water because molecules of hot water have higher energy so they will move faster give reasons for when you leave the perfume bottle open you smell it all over the room this is because the molecules of the perfume are in a continuous motion and they keep the properties of perfume another give reason question a drop of ink spreads through water because the molecules of ink are in a continuous motion in all directions among water molecules the second property is that there are intermolecular spaces among the molecules of matter we have a very important experiment to prove that there are intermolecular spaces between molecules this is done by preparing 500 cubic centimeter of water and 500 cubic centimeter of ethyl alcohol they are both colorless but we added some color to make them visible by adding the 500 cubic centimeter of water to 500 cubic centimeter of ethyl alcohol we will find that the final volume will be less than 1000 cubic centimeter because 500 plus 500 is equal to 1000 this is can be explained by that there are intermolecular spaces between molecules of matter that can be filled by other molecules give reasons for the volume of a mixture of water and alcohol is less than the sum of their volumes before mixing 
This is because some molecules of alcohol occupy the intermolecular spaces among water molecules. The third property of molecule is that there are intermolecular forces among the molecules of matter. We have a very simple experiment here. We will prepare three cylinders containing three different liquids. And by putting a plastic ball to fall freely, we will note that they will fall with different speeds. This is because they have different intermolecular forces between the molecules. We can do the same experiment in different way. We can prepare three cylinders that contains different liquids. By trying to shake them strongly, we will find that the one with greater intermolecular forces will settle down faster. By doing the same experiment with the other two cylinders, we will find that it will be stable more quickly because it has higher intermolecular forces between molecules. Give reasons for it is difficult to break an iron piece with your fingers because there is strong attraction force among iron molecules. Matter exists in three states, which are solids, liquids, and gases. Let's try to compare between the three states of matter. As you can see, the spaces between molecules of solid are very narrow, are very small. But the spaces between molecules of liquid are much greater but we have huge spaces between the molecules of gases so they can move freely let's compare between shapes and volumes of the three states of matter as you can see solids have different volumes and different shape liquids have different volume but indefinite shape while gases they have indefinite volume and indefinite shape also. They take the volume and the shape of the container. This was a quick comparison between the three states of matter. Let's compare between the three states of matter in a table. The first point of comparison is motion of molecules. Motion of molecules in the solid state is very limited because the spaces are too small. In liquids, it is intermediate or medium, but motion in gaseous state is unlimited. The second point of comparison is intermolecular spaces. Intermolecular spaces are very small, are very narrow in solid state. It is intermediate in liquid state, and it is very large in the gaseous state. The third point of comparison is intermolecular forces. It is very strong between molecules of the solid state, intermediate or medium between liquid molecules, very weak between the molecules of gases. What about volume? Solids have definite volumes, liquids have definite volume, gases have indefinite volumes. Shape. The shape of solid is definite, for liquid is indefinite, for gases is indefinite. Examples for solid state, iron, copper, aluminium, liquid such as water, alcohol, gases such as carbon dioxide and oxygen. What is the relation between temperature and matter physical state? This means that can we change from one state to another? Yes, this is can be done by heating or by cooling. When a solid is heated, its molecules gain thermal energy. So, 
the spaces of its molecules increases and some of them overcome the intermolecular forces. So the intermolecular spaces between them increases and they become more freely. So this leads to the change of matter from solid state to liquid state. What's meant by melting? It is the change of matter from the solid state to the liquid state by heating. What is the relation between temperature and matter physical state when we try to change it from liquid by heating into gaseous state? When a liquid is heated, its molecules gain thermal energy, so the speed of its molecules increases and some of them overcome the intermolecular forces. So the intermolecular spaces increases and they become more freely. So this leads to the change of matter from the liquid state to the gaseous state. What's meant by vaporization? It is the change of matter from the liquid state to the gaseous state by heating. Note the following. The difference in molecules of various substances is found as a result of the difference of the atoms which are involved in the structure of the molecule. Through the number of atoms, molecules are different from each other through the following reasons. The first one is number of atoms. The second one is kind of atoms. The third one is the way of combination together. Matter and molecule. Kinds of molecules. We have three kinds of molecules. Element. Compound. Mixture. We will not talk about mixture. We will talk about only about elements and compounds. What's meant by element? It is the simplest pure form of matter which can't be analyzed chemically into simpler form. For example, the simplest form of hydrogen is the hydrogen atom, which can't be analyzed into a simpler form. And as you can see, hydrogen molecule is composed of two hydrogen atoms. The element molecules. Element molecules are three types. Monoatomic molecules. They are elements which consist of one atom. Diatomic molecules. They are molecules which consist of two atoms. Triatomic molecules, they are molecules which consist of three atoms. As you can see, everything around us is formed of molecules, and each molecule is formed of atom. For example, this can is formed of aluminium atoms. Aluminium is element, and because it is a metal, it is a monoatomic element. Also, coal is formed of carbon atoms. Even this piece of gold is formed of gold atoms. Air around us is composed of oxygen atoms, nitrogen atoms. Even this liquid, which is used for cleaning, which is called chlorine, it is composed of chlorine atoms. Everything around us is formed of atoms. Let's compare between the three types of element molecules, monoatomic, diatomic, and triatomic. What's meant by monoatomic? They are elements molecules formed of only one atom. Diatomic. They are element molecules formed of two atoms. Triatomic, they are element molecules formed of three atoms.
Examples for monoatomic elements Solids such as copper, iron, aluminium, sulfur, magnesium, carbon Liquid such as mercury and this is a very important one We have a very famous complete question which is Space is considered the only monoatomic liquid element The answer is mercury All noble gases are monoatomic such as helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon. Examples for diatomic liquid such as bromine, and this is a very important one also. Space is considered the liquid element which is composed of two atoms. The answer is bromine. All active gases are diatomic, such as oxygen, hydrogen, chlorine. Nitrogen, fluorine. Triatomic elements such as ozone, this molecule which forms the ozone layer which protects us from ultraviolet radiations. Ozone gas consists of three oxygen atoms, O3. Compound. What is meant by compound? It is a substance which is formed from the combination of atoms of two or more different elements with constant weight ratios this is our famous example if we have two atoms of hydrogen combined with one oxygen atom they will form one water molecule which is compound because as you can see it consists of different elements hydrogen and oxygen the compound molecules we will have some examples for compound molecules such as water molecule as you saw before water molecule it consists of three atoms of two different elements hydrogen two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom as you can see two hydrogen atoms plus one oxygen atom it will give one water molecule which is H2O this is water if we can see the atom forming it we will find that it is formed of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom sodium chloride molecule or table salt it consists of two atoms of two different elements one sodium atom plus one chlorine atom they will combine together to form sodium chloride molecule which is a compound because it consists of two different elements as you can see this is the salt crystals they are formed from one sodium atom and one chlorine atom they are arranged in a crystal form the third example is ammonia molecule Ammonia, it consists of four atoms of two different elements. As you can see, it is formed from three hydrogen atoms plus one nitrogen atom. When they combine together, they will form NH3, which is ammonia molecule. As you can see, it is formed of four atoms of two different elements. Now let's compare between element and compound. What's meant by element? It is the simplest pure form of matter which can't be analyzed chemically into simpler form. What's meant by compound? It is a substance which is formed from the combination of atoms of two or more different elements but with constant weight ratios. Elements are formed from similar atoms while compounds they are formed from different atoms examples for elements such as hydrogen oxygen aluminium and sulfur examples for compounds such as water carbon dioxide sodium chloride calcium carbonate this is the end of lesson 2 thanks for watching